Hi, I'm Sen with Alaska.org and I am here to help you pack for your Alaska vacation. So the first thing that you should know is that summer in Alaska is really mild and pleasant, especially in South Central, Interior, Southeast, the regions where most visitors are coming either by plane or on a cruise ship. So between May and September, sorry, I had a mosquito on my face. So between May and September, expect temperatures in the mid 50s to low 70s with it sometimes dipping into the 40s at night. June and July are definitely the warmest months and generally it gets rainier as the season goes on closer to August and September. So for the most part when you're packing you don't need any specialized gear for your Alaska trip. And Alaska is really casual so you can bring some nice items for a night out but most restaurants and other places jeans are perfectly fine. The key to packing for Alaska is layers so that you can adjust as the conditions change around you. Your base layer, you're gonna want a lightweight wicking shirt. Um, this keeps moisture away from your body, especially if you're active and hiking. I've got a short sleeve on here. This is a nice long sleeve option. You might want a pair of light hiking pants if you're gonna be out in the woods. On top of that is going to be a midway sweatshirt, sweater, or fleece. You might want this just on like a cooler day to kind of take the chill off. Then on really cool mornings, we might recommend a puffy. This is great um, to just, again, add that little extra layer of warmth. And this is probably the heaviest jacket you would need in the summer months. And then the last thing on top is a windproof, waterproof layer. This is really just gonna help you keep in all of the warmth from your top layers and also keep the water off. We recommend packing a pair of rain pants. They may never come out of your backpack or suitcase, but it's really nice to have to not interrupt your activity. Um, they say in Alaska, there's no bad weather, just bad gear. And this is a perfect example of that. So what about shorts and dresses? Sure. You can pack one or two. You may never unpack them, but on a sunny 70 degree day, you might be really glad to have them in your pack. Or you can bring a pair of lightweight convertible zip off pants. If you're out on the trail and it gets warm, you can zip the bottom half off. Or it works really great in the opposite. You can start with them off, and if it gets a little buggy, you can simply reattach the legs. So shoes are important. Pack comfortable shoes you can wear all day long. Um, running shoes work on most of our trails, but if you're gonna do any real hiking, we definitely recommend bringing a hiking boot for more stability and grip. And that's what I've got on. It's just a nice lightweight hiking shoe. Um, you can also bring a pair of sandals, and if you wanna bring a casual shoe too for walking around town, that's great. So then bring a backpack or a tote as your carry-on. You can use it to stash all of your layers during the day when you don't need them. And it's also a great spot to have these other must-haves with you throughout the day. First is sunglasses and sunscreen with 18 plus hours of daylight. Um, these really come in handy, especially if you're out on the water or on a glacier tour, it can get really bright. Speaking of all that daylight, an eye mask. So most hotels do have blackout curtains, but this is really nice to have with you just in case. We also recommend binoculars. It's not a must have, but if you've got them, bring them. Many tour companies will provide them, especially on wildlife viewing excursions, so you can get a closer look. Bring your water bottle. Um, we don't have recycling in all of our communities and it's less available in Alaska in general. So if you've got your own bottle to refill while you're here, that's really great. Also bring a light winter hat and gloves, again, for those excursions where it might get a little chillier. And then finally, your camera, camera phone, and a regular camera. I definitely recommend bringing a regular camera, especially if you wanna get some pictures of wildlife. They're not always gonna be very close, so something that has good zoom will get you those pictures that you'll wanna look back on. So this is it. This is what we recommend to pack for your trip to Alaska. And if you want a reference, we have a downloadable PDF that you can get on alaska.org. Cool. Bob told me I had to wear these. <laughs> Keep it together, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs>